Welcome back to Let's Play Drawn to Life Spongebob Edition. As always, we have Patrick with us. We have tried out other companions that just never really worked out for the better. Why can we not call this place Kelp Forest? It's most obviously based off of Kelp Forest. More things to draw? Like a trampoline type of thing? Or... Slingshot. Um... And this is just like the cradle of Slingshot too. Is there really much of anything you can come up with for this? There's really not much... It's just a thing you stand on. I don't know if there's really anything else I can offer. And then just kind of... I just like it with some personality, I guess. Yeah, smudges, man. There we go. It has some more personality than most slingshots probably do. Oh no! You have to actually interact with the world. Oh, oh, that's really interesting. Actually, I specifically drag this thing around wherever. It's interesting. Oh, and then once you drag it all the way down, it automatically... And that's weird. Once you drag it all the way down, it automatically shoots you off. It's weird. Uh, can I actually hit you? Melee? Kinda. It's a really bad idea. Ferocious. Go away, please. Oh, that's kind of... Is that really what I want right now? Oh, hey, look at that kid. Well, that's the worst thing. That's not what I need right now. There you go! I stomp on it. Oh, I am actually hurt things. I stomp it by bouncing on them with the skates. Interesting. Oh, that hanged me down. Wait, what if I... Ah! What if I go on top of the enemy this way? Nothing. No interaction whatsoever. Alright, I would like some kind of acknowledgement of that, but that works too. In some capacity. Alright, off we go. No! Haha! <laughs> He's just kind of comboing himself, really. Oh no, what are we making this time? Just another platform, guys. Well, yeah, cool, but, like, that, I need something that lets me, like, put some real thought into what I'm making and whatnot. This is kind of weird. It's just a lift. I can at least, like, try and make it look kind of like a... I guess, like, a ski lift of some sort. that. So, I'll be like a, kind of like a ski gondola sort of thing where both platforms look at each other. We have two seats looking at each other, essentially. Something like that. Flat top, just for sake of platforming purposes.
And for the sake of fanciness, we can make a fa slightly fancy skill up. Or we can make it a very fancy skill up. It's not like say it has to be a particularly normal one. So what we can do. Ah, why can I never undo things I draw this way? Down we go. And from here, not only will we do this, we're gonna make red cushions. Uh, get this for a moment. Like for a moment. And the cushions aren't gonna be like literally the entire seat. The cushions are just part of the seat. So, here we go. So, red cushions? No, please. Darn, I accidentally clicked twice too. Ah. Alright. I'm doing that. Now, Phil. Fill up. Do your job. But we're also going to have gold seats. They don't really look like seats in such an any capacity, but it's something. We're trying to do what we can. And just for the sake of having them actually connected, since it won't make much sense otherwise, I guess we can kind of do like a support wire. No. Please. There's a little support wire across here. It'll also make it easier to stand on this thing. No, no, um, for platforming reasons, where the exact collisions are. If I do this, there. So the rope will connect to that bar there. See, here we go. That was worth a few minutes of drawing. Alright. Oh no, I can't just like stand on it. I just can't stand I can't just stand above it and have it go into my feet and then get hurt on its own. Like you can in some games. Some classic games. Where you can always hurt enemies by landing on them. Okay, nothing off to the right that I can see. So it seems like you only need to rescue one person in each area if you want to get credit for things, if you want to get the key. So I don't know where that rope leads. I couldn't see this thing down here. Oh no! Wait! Traveling style. Luxury. Okay, see, I couldn't see right below me, so I couldn't see that that was there. It helps a lot more sometimes if the character's more towards the center of the camera. Okay, so watch this. I love this. So, oh. Go, Patrick. He only breaks the one with his face on it. Nothing else. Still find that kind of awkward. So, is there nothing below here? Or nothing I can see, at least. As far as I know, it's just a big void. Is that what it actually is? Very possibly. That bothers me though, not being able to know. Okay, it is. See? But I didn't have a way of knowing. And not having a way of knowing bothers me a lot. Let's see these guys again. Hi guys. Yeah, see there was something up there it looked like. I'll take them out being something I missed. I'm not seeing here. Something off to the left. Bottom left, it looks like. Also, I'll probably be able to get some life from this guy. Well, it's not a net game, but whatever. So 
looks like I go all the way bottom left, I'll be able to find a way all the way up. So many lives. Shoo! Oh, hey, then that whole thing actually comes back down to me. Okay, so the default position was up here. But how do you get up here? Before it tells you to go back down. That doesn't look like I was supposed to do this this way. Let's get rid of this stuff before another bat appears. Yeah, so I don't know how I was supposed to get up here done. Okay, so I was supposed to go up there from... okay. So I kind of skipped some things. So that's kind of a nice little secret break, in fact. Not how things were expected to be done. Combo. Do you get anything for combos? I'm just not convinced that you do. That's a demonstration of getting anything for it. So that's the checkpoint that I've apparently activated. Okay, so this is where I was. Go over here? Yes, yeah, so this is. Alright, so this is where I was, I believe. Ah! Okay, I was thinking about going left to pick up health or going right to just progress. And there we go. Why not both? So everything on the left is being done now, I believe. So off we go. Still more than half the level left, though, which is quite a lot. We're about done with episode two. It's a little unfortunate because. Oh no! It's kind of awkward now because I'm only recording two episodes this one session because I already recorded three earlier today. So that means I need to end this episode, end this entire recording session, like now. I did bring a bubble pop up. Apparently he's just available on demand. Just make a call or something. And I'll pop up. Is there anything else over here of note? I kind of want to keep going for a minute here. <laughs> Plus, last episode was really short anyway, so this one's going to be short too. Or last episode was long, so this one's going to be short if I cut it off at the normal time. Special so called dad? Herb. Herb Star. That's like Herbert or just Herb. Anything down there? Or will we never know? Well, presumably there's a way and reason to get up there. I don't know what it is. Ah. There's that at least. So I may wait an extra minute or two. By waiting, I mean actually playing the game. Uh, no, it's not high enough at all. That's weird. So stuff down here. Anything down here? Secret area. I don't know if this is progressing further or not, though. This is really awkward. Why is there so much wind in a cave, though? This is awkward. Okay, so we progressed by doing that. So I want to go the other way. I like how by checkpoints they actually have a little bump in the ground that shields you from the wind. Or not not shield you from the wind, but that will keep you stuck in place despite the wind's best efforts. Okay, come on. I need to commit to staying on the left or right. Like that. Why does touching a flower hurt me anyways? If it's stuff hits me, that's one thing, but just touching the flower should not have such adverse effects. Go! I want to finish, I want to at least get that button before I stop this episode because I'm not going to remember that button was there a week from now. I'm not going to be able to use it to my advantage in any way. Unless I'm actually expected to bring those boots or something, which is possible. 
I won't like that. I won't want to suddenly have to start bringing things into levels to get places. Oh, come on. Really? I think that might be the case. So I'll have to just leave it be for this one run through, most likely, and then next. Oh. Also, so I can, like, stand on this and climb up the thing, but I can't. So, assuming that that's required for anything. Looks like I'll have to get that next time with this level. The vacation being in there will be a next time. Oh well, so let's at least get back to where we were. Please. Let's go on up to where we were, up to that checkpoint. I'll at least go straight to these flowers each chance I get. Just on the off chance that they drop what I need. No, not what I need. Drop something, but not what I need. So I guess if I just grinded these flowers a lot for a while, I'd probably eventually get what I'm looking for. Since enemies seem to just drop things by chance. But that's not really what we need to be doing right now, because it's not time for the episode. So I'll see you guys next time. Next episode, let's play Drawn to Life's Mono Script Edition, where we, well, run through the level, I guess, and eventually come back here or something. Whatever. Bye, guys.